shots fired at a Burlington house. A stray bullet hit a 10 year old asleep in bed. Tonight, police are looking for the person who opened fire. WFMY News 2's Sydney Moore spoke with investigators about this crime that landed a child in the hospital. That's right. Police say the 10 year old wasn't the target of the shooting. They got he, they got hit when the shooter opened fire on the home. I spoke with a pastor who says his heart breaks for the family. Pastor Bernard Kolbel is the pastor of Christian Tabernacle Church of Christ in Burlington. His church has been there for 17 years and he says crime in the area just keeps escalating. We've had some break ins here at this church uh, about six, seven months ago. Somebody broke in our utility building stole a bunch of items out. A more recent crime happened close to his church. Police say someone shot at a house on Shaw Street several times Sunday. Investigators say one of the bullets hit a sleeping 10 year old. To think that your child's not even safe in the comfort of your own home. I mean, that's to me, that's horrifying. That's terrifying to me that you can't even lay down at night and go to sleep without worrying about somebody shooting in your house. Pastor Koble hopes and prays for the violence and crime to end. We've got to try to reach out and, and touch people and show people it's a better way. He also hopes for more police presence in the area. I spoke with the Burlington Assistant Police Chief about their efforts to protect the community. We continue to, to upstaff and, and do patrols in areas that we know uh, could be um, associated with acts of violence. Um, we continue to have officers on feet uh, in, in vehicles uh, making rounds, but also we go door to door. Police are in the early stages of this investigation in hopes the community comes forward with any information. We hope that uh, the community sees uh, that an innocent child was a victim in, in circumstances that they didn't need to be in, but were involved in a situation that now is going to affect them and that family's life. Police need anyone who knows anything to speak up. You can call Burlington Police or Crime Stoppers. I'll be sure to include both phone numbers in this web story on WFMYNews2.com.